morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I want to welcome some youth now and the director of the academy, director uh, and head coach of the Global Satellite Soccer Academy, Mr. Jeff Hackett. He's brought along Kaimani Trotman, Jordan Bryan, and Seth Jones, who are football players with Kickstart Rush. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, the colors are looking wonderful. Nobody sent me the memo, or I would have worn red and white too uh, to get into it. So <laughs> let me start with you, um, Mr. Hackett. Talk to me a little bit about the academy and uh, all that's happening with the Kick Rush, the Kickstart Rush uh, Academy. Uh, good morning to you and to the people of Barbados. Uh, Global Satellite Soccer Academy is uh, an institution that we formed uh, in Canada. Uh, it's about uh, 20 years ago uh, with the British scout, uh, the late Mick O'Brien. And what I've done is uh, teamed up with uh, Renato Jolts, uh, who may be familiar to uh, Barbadians, uh, to accelerate the development of uh, some youth players in Barbados by uh, bringing them over to our academy, uh, training them here, uh, developing their skills, and trying to uh, also indulge in their growth as people and uh, give them opportunities to progress in the sport. All right, so I know that the young men are all, and uh, correct me if I'm incorrect, they're part of the Barbados National Under-17 team and members of the Kickstart Rush Under-17 um, club as well. Is that correct? That's correct. Don't, don't all speak at once. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go straight to you, Seth, uh, just because I, I, know, I know your brother. All right, so Seth, talk to me about your journey with football. You know, what, what got you into football at, or at what stage did you realize that you really had a passion? And you were good at football. Um, I started when I was around four years old. Uh, I'm not. I can't really remember what really got me into football. And that probably forced me to play. But I really started to enjoy the sport when we started competing in tournaments at Kids to Rush around the age of nine. And I really thought I could go somewhere with it around the under thirteen level. And I really started to like, develop as a player. What about you, Jordan? Uh, talk to me about your journey <laughs> with football. You know, uh, when did you get started, and when did you realize, you know, this is something I'm pretty good at? Well, I was a bit different. Um, I started out four as well because my brother played, um, but I didn't really love the game yet when I was so young. Um, I was in the on the field, running around doing airplanes. Was really interested in the ball. So I was a bit different from that per se, but I'd say I started to love the game quite recently, like the under 15 level, late under 13. And I suggest I could probably take it somewhere at my last year of under 15. All right, is it Kimani or Kaimani? I want to make sure that I get your name right. Kimani. Kimani, okay, good. Kimani, talk to me about your journey with football. Uh, I started at five years old. And I fell in love with the game since on day 11. All right. Well, that's excellent. And it was just, Continue. Sorry. No, I didn't, it just, it just good from every sense. All right. That's good. And uh, one thing that comes through, it comes through is that you guys all started from an early age. And I would imagine that is what is important, Mr. Hackett, to be able to develop uh, the students in the way that we're talking about. Now, uh, I know that you are a Barbadian, former national Barbadian footballer as well, and you went up to Cal uh, Canada on a scholarship, and then, of course, you opened the, the academy. So let's talk about all the ways that sport, we were kind of talking about this just before, uh, in your case, football, uh, can really shape and develop your life and your career and everything you do. Uh, football is at its peak right now in terms of popularity in, in the world. And uh, there are many avenues uh, which these kids can access, including uh, scholarship opportunities, professional opportunities. 
And uh, Global Satellite Soccer Academy is trying to be instrumental in helping these kids to develop, to acquire that level. And uh, we hope to uh, have more kids as time goes on uh, from Barbados, because uh, I'm, I'm deeply conscious of the need to help support Barbados football. And that's what we try to do with Global Satellite Soccer Academy in bringing these kids uh, from Barbados to Canada. All right, now that's excellent. I'm told that Jordan, you just returned last Sunday. Talk to me about that experience. Uh, it was it was a good experience. Um, I feel like I learned a lot, not just about football, but about myself. You know, player development and like physical development too, and then just mental development. Um, it was difficult at times because I was away from from family, sorry, and friends. Seeing them here. You know, having fun, proper, proper was not, but I knew that I was there to play football. And um, yeah, that taught me that, you know, when you want to achieve something, you have to prioritize. What would you say was the major difference in terms of how you were able to train overseas as compared to maybe what you do here in Barbados? Well, I feel like at GSSA, um, it's, a, it's difficult because um, it's physical. There's a lot of physical work and endurance you know fitness is a big priority for coach Jeff so I feel like that was a big difference um amping up the physical work absolutely now I'm told that Kimani and Seth you guys are leaving next Friday so uh Seth talk to me a little bit about what you're looking forward to most hearing uh what Jordan had to say about his particular trip what are you looking forward to most um I'm looking forward to like developing as a player, both technically and tactically, and seeing how far this game can take me. What about you, Kimani? Uh, like what Seth said, I'm looking forward to develop as a player. All right, a man of few words. He's looking forward to develop as a player. And, um, you know, Jordan also mentioned about being away from family. Are you guys are all nervous about being away from your loved ones for a little while? Um, yeah, it was in the beginning. But as the time progressed, they really they settled in. I realized I was here to play football, so... All right. Kimani, are you hoping to make a career of football? Where are you hoping to take uh, football or where are you yes. hoping football takes you? I'm hoping to play professionally. Well, I will. <laughs> you, Seth? Um, I'm hoping to play collegiate football, uh, Division One, in the United States. Good stuff. What about you, Jordan? Uh, the ultimate goal is to be professional, but... You know, coming from Barbados, I feel like it's hard. And the goal below that is to play at a good college and you know, be able to achieve my education. There. Oh, that's excellent. Now, Jeff, you know firsthand uh, what needs to be done. There might be parents looking on who have children who are excellent at, at football. Uh, you know, what advice would you share based on, you know, your former uh, accolades or your former background as a national player and now having an academy that's really reaching back and helping other footballers as well. Well, the, the focus has to be on development uh, from a technical, physical, uh, mental and social standpoint. And uh, once uh, kids are developed prep, uh, properly and given the opportunity, then they stand a chance to make it. Uh, we're looking to take these three kids who are very good talents uh, to England uh, over March break 2024. Uh, that's when we tour uh, Northern England and play against uh, professional clubs, uh, academies, so that uh, they can gain that exposure. And that would be another stepping stone uh, to achieving what they're capable of. Uh, very talented lads. Uh, it was a pleasure for us to work with them. And uh, I'm looking forward to be uh, working with them some more. All right. That's wonderful stuff. And congratulations on all the excellent work that you are doing to, to help young football players as well. Uh, I want to wish the three of you the very best.
Seth, as well as Thank Imani you. and Jordan. Uh, look Thank forward you. to hearing more about it. And as you go through all of the training sessions and get things done, I'm looking forward to reading your names in the headlines. Yes. Yeah? So make it happen, guys. Okay, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Again, congratulations, and uh, thank you for sharing that really great news. Always happy on Morning Barbados to talk about uh, positive things happening with our exceptional youth. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning to you.